Ladies and gentlemen, this is Christophe from France and today I'm very excited. Okay, I'm excited for all the video about the Apple squeezers, but this one is also a very good one because today we will see the Core 8 uh, for this card. So this is again a very good point. Uh, Nick is still working on the card and progress and make some uh, new features. So in this video, first, we will do the upgrade of Core 8 and as you will know, it will be fast and easy as always. We will see the new CDEV and the new NDA that will be able to switch from one speed to the other one without rebooting. So this is something very good. A lot of people were waiting for that. We will also try the new driver that was uh, built by uh, Antoine Vigneault and uh, this uh, driver will allow you to access the full RAM of the Apple squeezers and uh, we will finish with a quick test uh, between the CFFA3000 and the onboard storage of the, of the Apple squeezers. So, are you ready? Let's go and jump in. So, back on my Apple 2GS. So as we can see, I will have a look. I love, you know, my double screen. <laughs> Uh, I will have a look on uh, on the version of the Apple Squeezer that I'm running. So I'm running Core 7 uh, and uh, we will do the upgrade to Core 8. So the first thing as always, just have a look onto the README file. So what's new? Uh, as we can see, uh, for version 8, we need to upgrade the CDA and the CDEV. Okay, we will do it. Uh, then there is also the driver that will let you have 32 megabytes of Prodos disk or 240 megabytes of HFS disk. Okay, so HFS, you know, it's a Macintosh file system, hierarchical file system, uh, because Prodos is not able to address more than 32 megabytes. So uh, you will have the choice between using 32 in Prodos or 240 into HFS. It's still the version one uh, of uh, this uh, driver. I know that Nick and perhaps uh, Mr. Vigno, Antoine Vigno, who, who is the uh, dad of this driver, will uh, certainly do additional uh, uh, improvement uh, for this driver. A lot of things is arriving. And uh, as we can see also in the readme file, uh, is that Core 8 is able to access to, to the SD card of the card, but at this time it is not yet used, you know, for the purple, uh, for the purple card. So let's have a look and do the upgrade of the core as always. So the first thing it's opening the control panel and then update, we will select the file, file is on the disk, bit, uh, so 8-bit, uh, uh, core 8 version, and now let's go, as always, uh, you know, it's a process that is, uh, you know, very easy. Uh, I still have uh, a point to say to Nick about uh, about this process. Perhaps there is an improvement to do, but all the features that are in Core 8 could be useful for these uh, features. Uh, I will uh, keep that secret a little bit. So, we are close to completion, and then after that I will need to do a hard reboot of my Apple 2GS. And then we will come back. Now it's done. Okay. Let's put a new CDEV and CDA into the system. Continue. Replace. And the CDEV. Continue, replace. And then let's be crazy. 
let's also install the new driver. So, the new driver is here, called RAM driver. Oh, there is two versions. Let's have a look on the README. As always, it's important. Driver A, which is the one recommended by Nick, uh, that creates a classical 32 megabit, megabit uh, drive at the boot. Driver B is the one that allows you to have a 32 or 240 megabit uh, disk after reboot. Um, let's go directly for driver B. Driver B, okay, it's here. As always, drag and drop onto the system, continue, done. And now it's time to switch off the Apple 2GS. Here we go, the 2GS is rebooting. So, as always, uh, it's pretty fast. Let's have a look what we will uh, discover. Uh, so perhaps one of the first things that we will do is to have a look onto the classical desk accessories. Oh, there is a new alert uh, using, so it's about the memory. So let's go for initialized and then, perfect. We have two versions. So HFS for the 240 megabytes or the Prodos for the 32 megabytes. So let's try on 240 megabytes. My new, uh, I have an American keyboard. So my, <laughs> my, uh, okay, Apple RAM. <laughs> That would be easier. Initialized. And so remember, now we are running normally Core 8. I installed the new uh, RAM driver, and normally I must have a 240 make uh, HFS volume in a second on my on my desktop, and then we will have a look onto the new features. Done. Let's have a look. Seems to be a classical uh, volume. We can see that it's close to 240 uh, meg. Of course, there is uh, all the initialization, initialization of the drive uh, and so on. Uh, we can see that it's a HFS uh, volume here. Uh, and. Uh, We can, of course, copy on it. Oh. Okay. So, interesting, fast. And uh, we have everything in. Okay. So, this is a simple test. Now, have a look onto the control panel. So, it must be a new control panel. And as we can see, we are in core eight and there is a new menu which is in front of the acceleration. So today, every time that you check or uncheck one of these uh, box, you will need to do hard reboot of your Apple 2GS. Now, if you are just changing the speed here, by closing the window, it will switch to the speed. So we are at the normal speed for the uh, Apple Squeezer, which is 14 megahertz. And we have a different um, availability, three megahertz, five, eight, 10, or 14. If you want to come back into the classical one from the Apple 2GS, in that case, you need to disable the Apple squeezers and then remove acceleration and reboot uh, the machine. So we are at 14 megahertz at this time. Uh, let's have a look, you know, everything seems to, to be fast uh, and so on. It's a very basic test. Uh, if I move to three megahertz, I need to close the window. And now I'm at three megahertz. And I can see that mm, it's not as faster as the previous one. Um,
yeah, it's not so easy, but uh, yeah, we can see that the system seems to be a bit slower. Let's have a look. Yeah, uh, definitely, you know, things are opening very fast and draw very fast. So this is something very good. Every time that you will need to have your system going slower instead of doing a uh, reboot and so on, you just need to go into this menu and change the speed. Uh, that will be very helpful, definitively. Now have a look onto the classical desk accessories if uh, it is also available. Yes, it is, Apple squeezers. And we can change the speed, 3, 5, 8, 10, 14. So let's put that 8. Uh, no need of hard reboot. Hard reboot, it's only for all the other features. And if I'm going here, yeah, so everything was, uh, was mainly changed. This is just very good because Again, there is some software or hardware that, you know, the 14 megahertz was too much. Uh, so now with the ability to reduce it, that will be more easier to, to use. Um, very important point here. Now you have something which is very interesting in terms of uh, uh, available uh, storage. So. 240 uh, megabyte as a RAM disk. Uh, at this time, of course, when you restart, uh, when you turn off your Apple 2GS, all the data disappeared, but there is a lot of things that uh, Nick is working on, and uh, I think also Mr. Uh, Vigno, to keep uh, all the data into the SD card, which is on the board of the purple uh, Apple squeezers and uh, soon we will see how we will be able to upgrade a blue apple squeezers into a purple apple squeezers um, and uh, that will be a major improvement now i will share with you some results about test uh, read write test that i did onto this apple squeezers and uh, uh, the classical uh, cfa uh, 3000 uh, so, as I don't want to bother you, you know, with a lot of blue screen and so on and so on, I will switch into a PowerPoint uh, demonstration or result, and you will see that uh, results are just unbelievable. So, uh, before going on to that, please don't forget to like, to subscribe, uh, to share uh, this, uh, this video. I hope that you enjoy it. Uh, feel free also to, to send me some comments, it's always welcome. And now we will uh, go to the last point of this uh, presentation of this video. It's about the performance. So let's go for the performance. What everybody was looking for, the performance. For the test, I use my ROM3 Apple II GS CFFA 3000 as a reference and I will use a benchmark D from Brutal Deluxe software. So let's start the test right now. Using CFAA3000 as a reference for the benchmark D right with a file of 512K, 1 meg, 2 meg, 4 meg, 8 meg, 16 meg, the Apple Squeezer 32 meg Prodos is faster between five to nine times. Uh, with the Apple Squeezer in 240 meg HFS, it's even better between uh, 9 to 13 times faster. Produce uh, 5 to 9 times faster and HFS 9 to 13 times faster. Unbelievable. After writing, now it's a reading, still using the CFAA 3000 as a reference. Same kind of files and uh, we have the good surprise to have something close to equivalent between the 32 meg Prodos and uh, the 240 meg uh, HFS. So we are between 9 and 10.8 uh, uh, in terms of uh, performance in front of the CFFA 3000. 
As a conclusion, the Apple Squeezer is 10 times faster than the CFFA 3000. Yeah! Many thanks for attending and I'm very excited to produce the next one. Thank you everybody, enjoy life, enjoy the Apple 2GS.